Welcome back to another episode. We have me, myself, and I again. Sig. And we have Ruggle. Guess what we just did? We had our first date with a bunch of other people. <laughs> Make it sound completely weird. Oh, what are you <laughs> drinking there? Are you finally drinking it? Yeah, finally drink it. It's my third one. Not tonight. Not tonight. Like Just in general. Just We're going full tonight. Uh, <laughs> like, we just started. You have just tried to call like five minutes ago. You already pounded down three. Yep. <laughs> uh, the hard Mountain Dews is what I'm drinking. They just taste like a diet version of the sodas. You actually like them? I'm not like, I don't love them. This is not something I'd be like, oh yeah, let me go buy some more. But they're a lot better than Sonics. So I wouldn't even dare drink Sonics, but uh, yeah, okay. But you like, you like seltzers. This is not a seltzer. Sonics is. So, too, like, the Mountain Dews are way too sweet. But again, I don't, th I don't know, think they're sweet. I don't think they're sweet enough. <laughs> oh my god. I was like, missing the sugar. I need the sugar. So you've had, so now you've had all of them, right? You've had the Sunny D, the Sonic, Mountain Dew. I had the Monster, Sonic, Sunny D, uh, three fourths of the Mountain Dew of this pack that you got. Um, I just, I tried the, my, all the Mike's Hards. I tried all the Smearing Off ones. Um, I saw in a convenience store, I don't know which one's by Lane, whichever, I want to say it's come and go, I could be wrong, but there's a gas station there, and they had a big tall boy in a can of a hard version of a beverage, I can't think of it now, but it was like five bucks for a can, I couldn't justify paying for it, because I was like, eh... I don't know if it's seltzers or not. It's mixed in with all the other stuff. I don't want to get burned because if it is a seltzer, I'm throwing it away the moment I take a sip. Like, ugh, ugh, this is trash. I'm trying to think because I've seen that uh, Arizona has one out now. Yeah. Of their tea versions. Oh, that's uh, uh, Mike. Mike has their RTs now. Or Monsters are right have Not Mike. Monster. Monster has a tea. Mm -hmm. They have a hard version of their tea, so their a hard beverage mm -hmm. they have now, they have a tea version of it that's out. They don't even make tea, do they? They make a monster tea, yeah. I've never seen the monster tea, I guess. Tea flavored ones or whatever. Yeah. No, I've never seen those. I've, I've never tried them. I don't like tea. I think tea tea is disgusting, so. I don't I won't mind try tea. Those. Just, I can't do, like, I've tried the, whatever the main one was. The hard uh, case. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, oh, I have one. That's not it. No, um, it's a yellow can, blue label. Yeah, blue. I was like, I can think of it too. I can see Twisted the whole. Tea. There we go. Twisted tea. Yeah. I just keep playing back the video in my head of the guy slapping him, slapping the guy with the tall boy. I just need to play the entire logo design in my head, going, "Hold on, I know what this looks like." Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I don't. I don't mind twisted teas, but like I can't. I'll have like one or two of them. I could. I could do them. No, I don't. Tea flavored anything is disgusting. So I don't do I that. Think my thing is that there's no um, sugar. I know. No, that's, that's not <laughs> it at all. Uh, bite to it. Um, carbonation and stuff like oh. that to it. Like there's just no. There's nothing to it. Like the burn. I have to have the burn when you drink it. <laughs> That's what it gets me. Uh, the burn. Well, with, with that, there's not. It's just like drinking just regular tea, I guess, which is exactly what it is. Yeah, tea doesn't have any carbonation. Correct. Yep, yep. Speaking of which, do you drink tea just by itself? Like, do you actually make tea? Um, I haven't. I do. Um, I will. Yeah, I like tea. I will make it occasionally. Hot, cold I tea. I love sweet tea. I won't do hot tea that much. Okay. Unless I feel like shit, or like I have to go to sleep, then I'll do hot tea, but I hardly ever do hot tea. 
I only ask because the ultimate question at hand right now is how do you heat your water for your hot tea? Microwave, Depends. stove, or kettle? Uh, only way it's, we have a kettle. If I want to do it that way, or just do it in the microwave, either way, it doesn't matter to me. Apparently it all, it that, all doesn't taste good eggs. The amount of people who are tea aficionados and they're like, you boil your water in the microwave for your, how dare you? Like, the audacity these people have, mostly Brits, are like, you boil in the microwave. It's like, I'm sorry to tell you guys, hot water is hot water. It doesn't matter. It's made by fire, electrical coils, microwaves, it's hot water. It literally tastes the same. But I've seen so many yeah. TikToks where they're like, how do you heat your water when you make tea? And they're like, oh, microwave. And just Brits respond. We're like, don't you have a fucking kettle? Why would you put water in the microwave? It's like, this is what we're upset about? How we, micro how we heat up water? Okay. Okay. Not the, like, is there, is there tea in bags or they do the, is it just a straight tea? Like, I don't even know what to call it. Like, tea leaves. Leaves and yeah, leaves and shit like that. Yeah. Leaves bags. Okay. Yeah, both. I figured they'd be mad about bags because it's just like they're mad about old. like the the Lipton tea, like that type. Mm. Most of them. Okay. When I went over there, most of them like do free leaf, free tea leaves or whatever, where they had to scoop it into a a bag or a canister to like dip it in there. Uh, but they do have some yeah, that is like. I, I can see like the teddy bear with the nightcap and a teacup on the logo. It's also tea, uh, but they use yeah. those. But, yeah. but Lipton tea, yeah. like the yellow bag, no, they don't. They don't classify that. And sweet tea's not a thing. Yeah, I I figured they hate that. I sweet tea I love. That's just from when I was in Georgia, and then also Mississippi and all that. Like, I had the sweet tea down there. I fucking loved it. I fell in love with it. I hate tea. That's the only thing I like from, from that area. The food and the sweet tea. Everything else can just go away. Well, that kind of ties into what one of our uh, topics posted up in Discord was. Two of them, to be specific. We're just going to tag team this one. Um, let's start off with the mm -hmm. easier one. Um, not yours, by the way. We'll save that tomfoolery <laughs> for later. Uh, but the subject matter of like what's called seasonal food or weather food, food you only make mm -hmm. during certain weathers or whatever. Um, and this one for me, I explain where this came from is I was watching a podcast episode of you should know. And somebody was talking about how they can't have pancakes during the summer. Cause it's too hot. And pancakes is a hot food. And I'm like, you are fucking stupid. He's an idiot. First off, just has the shit that he ever. Comes you know, up okay, with. okay. So you know, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, and I know exactly what you're talking. About. And they are, they are huge. They are, they are hilarious. And you know, everything about their back and forth is great. The shit that he stupid. says sometimes, uh, the pancakes and there's multiple other things, but well, he yeah, talks about the so carbonation of like his Red Bull. He popped one open. He's like, <sighs> like what the fuck are you doing? I'm cooling it down. <laughs> I'm, it's too spicy on the lips. Fuck <laughs> off, you! Oh my god! Or the argument. It does happen. There's a whole like we could do a whole fucking episode about this dude, but he's just he bugs the shit out of me. But anyways, that's what honestly prompted me to go. Hold on, I know their seasonal food because mm -hmm. I watched a episode of The Basement Yard, with Joe and Frank, and they were talking about. It. I was like, yeah, yeah. And somebody, one of them said, oh yeah, I like having chili during like. A, uh, May or June, I was like, that's that's mm. too hot for chili. Like, I get that spring going to summer, but that's too hot for chili. Yeah. Chili's a wintertime food. Maybe fall, 100%. but winter, ideally. Yes. But we'll do that, and then we'll end on such a high note. Speaking of You Should Know and his dumb fuckery, this is right up there. I'm going to read it how, exactly how you put it in there. Why is texture and flavor of foods a thing? 
I feel like, I can only imagine what your face and your, the meltdown in your mind was like after I said that. I, I know, I know, I know you I know kind I, of lagged out there for a second. I, I, I know I texted you. I was like, "You're fucking stupid." I think that's all it was. It was just like a one cent to say. And you were like, "I'll oh, explain during the podcast." It's the only way I can remember. I was like, "You're fucking." Stupid. I hate this. Is annoying. You stupid dumb fuck. God. And then, of course, I keep watching You Should Know. I was like, well, he's not that bad. He understands fish are, fish are animals. All right, so he's not, he's not stupid. He's definitely not an example of no child should be left behind. Probably should have been left behind that third grade. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, we'll wrap that up. Or we'll wrap it up with that, because that, that is interesting. Because I was actually... Kind of sort of talking something similar with another buddy, but he was pretty sure he was stoned when he was talking to me about it, so oh. it made sense for oh. him. Okay, I, think I, I get the feeling you. Well. I get the feeling you weren't stoned when you wrote this. No, so, not at all. Anyways. Are there other than? I would say other than the. No, what's a seasonal food for you? A weather-based food. Other than chili, we already mentioned one. I mean, chili, yeah. chili obviously is one, and we did a whole podcast on that before. Yeah, which brought in the whole cinnamon roll cornbread thing, which was weird. Um, my another one for me is like ham and beans, and that's only after Christmas because we make a ham for Christmas, and I wrap up everything with that and use the bone from the spiral ham and like that for the uh, ham and beans and like that. And yes, I make cornbread with that as well. I don't use the cinnamon roll. You don't do cinnamon cornbread with that one. You do cornbread. I, I don't use... You don't do cinnamon roll with chili either, but some people do, so I'm just making it clear now. I don't Several do states do, but yeah. I know, weird. Um, it's better than over, I think, over freaking spaghetti noodles. <laughs> that's weird. Um, Look, can't you Cincinnati? I, soups are like, basically, I mean, anytime. I don't really have... I don't have too many seasonal ones. I don't smoke meat too much in the cold. I feel like, unless I'm like dying to do it, but that's more of a summer thing, summer, spring, fall. But that's more of like a of winter. That's not even because like it's cold outside. Because I, I, I will smoke meat when it's cold outside. Mm-hmm. I've done it before. It's the biggest pain in the ass because it uses more mm-hmm. coal, more wood, because it, mm-hmm. you're fighting the weather, the weather at this point, or at least when it's like 100 degrees outside, even you're like, oh, I need a little less because it's kind of just naturally stay a little bit warmer. Um, winter's the exact opposite, just nukes it. And God forbid it's raining or snowing, then you're just really fucked because now there's hard weather, so to speak, touching it. It's such a pain in the ass. But I, I will agree, smoking slash barbecuing is a spring, summer, and fall. Really anything but winter, I would say that more of a like an exclusion. Because if it's nice outside like- in spring... Yeah, unless I'm like hardcore wanting something or need to get something done, I won't do it. I won't. I won't fire it up. I got my I got, pot, I got my oven. Yeah, and I've got my cast iron skill and stuff too. If I want yep. to sear anything there, so yeah, I'm not too worried about it. I've got everything figured out inside. I think those are the main things. I don't really have anything seasonal that. I don't think about anything that's not. Or like... or like weather based foods like. Um... <laughs> I mean, soups is really kind of a cold weather thing, too. Or when you're sick type thing. I mean, or if it's just, like, rainy and stupid outside. Like, those it, ones all have, like, soups and stuff like that. Don't bother me. That, see, that's kind of where I differ, because if it's raining, I don't... I don't want soups. Like, I guess you would say it's a soup. I don't, because I think it's more of a dip in sauce. It's just really super fancy marinara. Like I, I will take a grilled cheese and a homemade like tomato bisque, and then I don't like tomato soup or bisque. I, I literally just dip the grilled cheese, and that's the only way I'll eat that damn thing. So if there's anything left, it uh, goes away. It's thrown away because I don't like, like it. grilled cheese. See, I know you have this whole issue with melted cheese. Which just comes into the next, the next topic that we'll have after this one. Well, but I don't know. It's not. I would say it's it's tough to really break down like seasonal foods or just different ones we have like that because my kids will eat anything anytime. They don't really say like they don't want anything. They don't really have an option either. Well, like so 
I would say like, like a, a like a proper roast. That's more of a winter time for me, and by winter I do mean like super cold, like when it's this sub zero weather we've had here two weeks ago, three weeks ago, and it's you know mm-hmm. negative seven, negative fourteen, negative twenty. Absolutely, a roast is amazing because then it's just a really hearty, hot, you know, stew. Yeah, uh, whatever you want to categorize roast. Uh, but it's really flavorful. It's great, and you don't have to do it in a grill. You can do it in a cast iron and in the pot if you want something quick and fa- fast, or slow, low and slow in the oven. Which I like using our Instapot pot and just toss in like a bunch of carrots, potatoes, onions, and just let that shit go on slow cooker for twelve to sixteen hours. It's a nice little at the end. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely use it that way too. I don't use the Instapot for long, for a long time because I don't, I don't trust them. It's, it's just a, it's a big pressurized bomb sitting on my counter, and I don't well, trust it. I have so a problem I, with it. I have, I have the, the original. I think it's a Ninja, Instapot. So mm-hmm. it has, the Instapot lid on top of it, and then also has a like a broiler lid too, so where you can, souffle, you can steam, you can cook you can saute you can mm. broil you can do everything the oven does and then also the the pot and it has a slow cooker and that's just again we don't have our crock pot or slow cooker anymore we have the instant pot and i'll put everything in there hit the the slow cooker 12 16 hours and that's a lot of just like we just push the button so if i push yeah. and hold it it's like one two three it's like, I can literally push faster than this. Let's go. Uh, but as far as, like, actual Instapot, that's, that's, I really like doing that shit for chili. Like a white chili, a white chicken chili or regular beef chili. See, I've never done, never done chili in Instapot before. I like doing it myself on the stove and just taking time doing it. Um, I mean, definitely it would work. It's just that whenever I do the Instapot, it's a few, few things here or there. If I don't want to take a whole day cooking. Yep. I throw it all together and just push everything into it with the Instapot. But that's it. Like, I don't, like, even during the winter, if I s- schedule, so to speak, schedule to have chili, I really don't know I want chili until, like, noon, 1 o'clock. It's like, oh, let me thaw my beef out. And yeah. it's a matter of I have three hours, four hours. Like, all right, Instapot it is. Yeah. And I hit the saute button so I can saute the onions and everything, the beef inside the it's the pot itself, and then seal it up after putting everything on, and it cooks really mm-hmm. quick. And it's very flavorful. It's really good for like white chicken chili though, because mm-hmm. it doesn't overcook the chicken, which so many people do so often, and it ruins everything so quickly. It's true. No, I feel like I feel like chili is the easiest one to say seasonal because I mean it definitely is, and maybe one of the bigger ones that are that are seasonal. Um, but like I said, like grilling, stuff like that. That's all. That's all summer, spring, fall. Um, even like breakfast food, our breakfast food is pretty much the same throughout the entire year. Yeah, I mean it's uh, pancakes, waffles, omelets. You know, any of that stuff. Nothing really changes. Maybe less cereal a little bit during the winter. But every now and then they still have cereal. But yeah, it's probably less cereal. It's more carb-heavy, less mm. cereal, sugary cereal. That's at least what I've been noticing the last couple of years when I'm like, oh, we stock up on, like, my kids can go through a box of cereal in like a week or two. Come winter, we're going through a box of cereal maybe in a month. And they're more like, I want pancakes, I want waffles, I want scrambled egg sandwiches, I want something that's cooked. Like, of course you do. We don't have enough time. Everyone woke up late. Have a bowl here. We're done. Yeah, those are always the easy go-tos. Like, you just have your cereal and be quiet. The sandwiches, like, the scrambled egg sandwiches, I'm, I'm assuming you may do it the same way. You scramble the eggs and you lay the bread inside of it. No. And you flip it. No, you don't do it that way? Okay. No, my kid do does not do it that way. Oh, okay. This is no, a meal she can cook herself. So, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. And she does it the way her Nana taught her. 
a year ago. Whatever it was. I guess 2022, so a year and a half. Um, but they, you know, and you don't like this, I can already tell you. But bread, very light thing of mayo, and then scrambled eggs on top of it. But man, yeah. I'll eat just eggs plain. <laughs> I like the taste of eggs. It doesn't bother me. I'll eat just plain eggs with, with bread. Yeah, I, I do it. too. I, love the taste of it. I go I go on kicks, and this mostly happens during winter time. I still want to call it seasonal, but at the same time, yeah, kind of. Uh, where it's just, you know, I'll have a over easy egg, you know, salt, pepper, and then toast and sausage, patty, link, whatever. And then if I'm feeling really bougie ass, I, I may have like smashed up avocado spread on it just to get more omega threes and omega sixes just because I don't, I don't eat fish. So I will not get the omega fats inside of me at all, but mm. I also don't like the supplements because they taste like fish. It's disgusting. I'm that <laughs> petulant child. Like, yeah, let me just. Nope. 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 No. <laughs> it was forty dollars of supplements on the drink. Nope. Is it good? Yeah. So it's it's uh, it's so good. I'm an adult now. I don't have to lie. Just, no. No. It's so bad. It's so bad. But there was there was one dish I really wish I would have wrote it down to. I didn't want to write it down because I was like, oh, I don't want him using it. And then be like, yeah, this is mine because I was going to let you go first. I shot myself in the foot with that one. But I would say there's definitely. Uh, what was it? Oh, fried food. I will say this. Fried food is, again, is more of a exclusion type weather. Like, I, I don't do a lot of fried foods during the winter and that's more comes down to like not as active so i don't want you know super fatty foods like i'm already a little fat let's not let's not double down go we'll get fried chicken or make homemade fried chicken <laughs> so but we don't have that too often during the winter which is probably the better time to have it because it heats your house up to 100 fucking degrees during the summer when yeah. you're like like huh. Try I love, I love fried chicken. I love like I love fried chicken. I just can't stand the smell of it afterwards. The front, the front oil fry smell and everything like no. that. I can't, I can't stand it. That's, it has to be warm, at least warm enough for me to open the windows and air the house out because that yeah. fry smell will make me sick after a while. I can't, I can't take it. But I love fried chicken. Yeah, I, I am excited for this summer, and just mostly because you know we have Sam's Club membership finally, and. Or again, and we're actually utilizing on a monthly basis is the fact that I can pick up a big ass jug of like peanut oil, and I have a fryer attached to my grill, and just be like, "Fuck it, we're frying some wings, we're frying some chicken. You want to fry a blooming onion? Let's do it." And which, when I used it last year, it was really good because like I would smoke the chicken wings to about fifteen to twenty degrees under. So not too long, maybe like an hour and a half, two hours max. And then mm -hmm. I would literally put them in the fryer right away and they get super crispy and then you get that really rich smoky flavor of either the, the pecan wood I was using or the cherry or apple, whatever I was on. Mm -hmm. I use fruits and nut trees and not like mesquite. I don't like mesquite anymore. Um, after smoking for four years, mesquite's just, <laughs> yeah. I will use liquid mesquite because that tastes totally different than the logs. Um, but that was really good. And now that I can buy big jugs of oil and cycle through the oil properly and use this uh, Shark Tank product I saw where you can literally filter out your dirty oil so where you can reuse it properly and not, you know, one and done type thing with chicken specifically. I'm excited. So I think I'm going to break down and buy the uh, oilless air fryer or oilless fryer, whatever the hell that thing's called. An air fryer? It's not, it's, but you can do like a turkey and shit in it. Ah, oh, a big ass air fryer? fryer? Yeah, it's pretty much a big ass air fryer. No, I haven't seen it. Yeah. I want to, I want to get one of those. I want to try to see how it goes. I've tried, I've tried fried chicken in the air fryer and it comes out. I don't, I don't like it. 
the outside There's of it more is more like steps really crispy to it and i just don't i don't like how it tastes we done we done fan. the air fryer for fried chicken and i done it a few times because i done it like with a with like a wet dredge where mm-hmm. you know tim pour type batter wet batter versus just yeah. a traditional flour and i just i don't I don't feel like it's as good. It definitely is probably all the additional fattiness coming from the oil soaking into the meat and making it super rich. I'm, I'm good with that. I'm not trying to live to be 100. <laughs> um, but there's always extra steps of like, you have to make sure you're, you're greasing or spraying your, your uh, air fryer down. You get to put a little light coat, uh, coat of oil on top of your chicken. Like, fuck this. I'll just fry the bitch and be done with it. Yeah. Because it's still not as good. You still get like the drippiness of it, and it it, it yeah, tastes. Doc. You can taste the healthiness of it, so to speak. <laughs> You're like, Ugh. I don't do this. <laughs> I'm missing my 400 extra calories off this batch. Doesn't taste the same. Yeah, the air fryer. We don't we don't use it that much. I mean, I will throw fries, chicken nuggets, random shit like that. Stuff that you can throw in there. It's really easy. Um, and we got it. We'll reheat pizza with it because That's they want pizza. Listen, that's the best way to do it. That's the best way to reheat pizza to begin with is with an air fryer. I, I would if if I had the time and the patience mostly, absolutely do an air fryer, then the skillet, and then after that, it's just I don't eat it. I don't do microwave pizza. I don't like that. I think it's disgusting. It, dude, I don't eat shit. You don't eat it fast enough. Uh, the oven works. It just takes forever. Uh, but mm-hmm. air fryer is amazing, especially like we went to. Sam's Club this last month, and we got the Red Baron little personal dish, their personal pizza dish. Oh. We get like twelve of them, and I was like, "Oh, cook the kids theirs in the oven." And of course, I'm like, "Ah, let me fuck around and see if the air fryer works for this." And literally, air fried the sucker, pepperoni. It got super like, I don't want to say super crisp, but it got super well done to the point the outside was really crisp, but the bottom slash middle portion. That wasn't the crust was still soft and airy, and the pepperoni was overly crunchy. Yeah, the the crust was where like you get into the crunch like pretzel. Uh, hey, not what I wanted. Yeah, I don't like. Um, I can't stand that. But the pepperonis were crispy, yet pliable, so it was just really good. And the mm. cheese got really melty and gooey. But definitely tried that out and really liked it. We can go on to your because I, I really want to talk about this. I didn't think the seasonal one would take too long because Midwest, there's not a lot of seasonal food, in my opinion. There's your roast, your soups, your cheese. No, there's not. Yeah. <laughs> it's fairly, fairly basic. A bunch of basic bitches in the Midwest. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> there, there was this, uh, I don't know if it was a company or a research center. I don't know how to categorize them. But anyway, there was this organization that was trying to calculate the U- the United States and where geographically everybody sat, whether they were in the Midwest, the Northeast, the East, the South, or the West. And almost unanimously, all the maps where people are like saying, oh, these states are the Midwest, these states are the Northeast, these states are the South, this is the East Coast, this is the West Coast, all of them, with the exception of very, very few. Kansas was lightly colored in. Like, the faint of, like, you had to magnify to see there it had a tint of color. Other than that, it was like an off-white. Kansas did not fall into any fucking category. No way really recognized Kansas as, like, Midwest or South or West Coast. Somebody I, I saw in the comments of, oh, well, it's the West. How do you think the West was one? Like, Kansas is West. I was like, I'm sorry. No. No. I mean, maybe if you're in like New York City, you're like, yeah, it's West. Yeah, then technically, yes, we're West because we're West of you. No, shut the fuck up. Um, so, but I thought it was so funny because the Midwest spanned to like Wyoming area all the way over to tips of New York, parts of New York. Yeah, not the entire state, just like parts. What the fuck? And it would go down to. Uh, some 
the faintest of color overlap was like Kentucky and Tennessee would be considered as Midwest uh, to some point. But for the most part, it was the Dakotas, Nebraska, half of Missouri, not all of it, just half of Missouri. <laughs> um, then you have Iowa, you have Idaho, uh, Illinois, Ohio, and Michigan for the most part. That's Midwest. And I was like, I'm sorry. Where the fuck is Kansas in all this? So I had to like keep going through all the maps because it's breaking it down. It's like nobody fucking added Kansas. And so I'm looking through the comments and everything on this research, and somebody literally goes, You all know there's 50 states, right? <laughs> like you left out three Everybody's of them. Missing. You left out three of them. Alaska, Hawaii, and Kansas. Two of those make sense because they're yes. their own entities. Kansas is the most landlocked of landlocked states you can get. Where the fuck does Kansas fall into this? And most people are like, it's just Kansas. <laughs> like, I was yeah. like, yeah, that's that's fair. That's you in your own little world. That's that's you're just, awesome. You're just mid. We're just yeah. <laughs> we're just there. Just, just mid. We're we're present. We're the halfway point in the United States. We're literally in the middle of the United States, but we're not the Midwest. Anyways, onward to your weird ass shit, which is again, for those of you still here, why is texture and flavor of food a thing? So elaborate as you I'm going to try I'm gonna try Do your this. best. This is literally I'm, like, gonna, I'm gonna grab another drink because I feel like I'm gonna need it for this one. So it's okay. So Elaborate. it's January 30th. This is exactly two months ago when I posted this in our in our Discord to try and remember this whole thing. Okay, Let's see if I can remember this. Why I said what I said. So why is texture of flavor of why is texture and flavor of food a thing? Okay, so if you think about like anything that you've ever eaten. Okay, why does it taste so much different? To, to me than it does to you. Like, you enjoy sugary shit. I can't stand it. Why is that a thing? Why do why do are our bodies that much different that you have to enjoy that stuff? I can't stand it. You like grilled cheese. I can't fucking stand it because of the texture of grilled cheese. It's like chewing... When it gets colder, it's rubbery shit. And then... Who's eating about, cold grilled cheeses? Uh, I've had to eat them before. That's, when that's, literally, that's literally just called a cheese sandwich. That's... Well, if it's... Duh. Yes, it's grilled cheese is a cheese sandwich, anyways. No, grilled cheese grilled is a cheese. melted sandwich because grilled it's is still cheese that's cooked. It's, it's still cheese. It doesn't. A it doesn't cheese change sandwich. The, it's it just doesn't cheese. change what it is. It it's literally changes the entire fucking texture still and the cheese. anatomy of it. It's still a cheese sandwich. It just goes from a grilled cheese to a cold grilled cheese. It's still awesome. been grilled. It might, yeah, I would agree it probably was the best because other ones are not good. Well, it's still a grilled cheese good. sandwich. It's just cold at that point. It's just a cheese sandwich at that point because it coagulated again. But, it's always a cheese sandwich. So That never changes. There's, oh, who was it? Because shortly after you posted this, of course, because our devices don't listen to us at all. Um, I, I saw a YouTube video that was kind of explaining the, the science behind it. But it comes down to the most basic way to explain is genetics, because while we all have this, we all have the same receptors on our tongue. We all don't have like the same quantity or the same behaviors of them. So to kind of like just put the, the super sweet stuff to non-sweet for you and I is that's going to be more of a genetic makeup for me. Uh, typically, from my understanding, is it leans more on like the low on blood sugar, or you tend to have very well blood sugar control. It's that like it's either really bad or really good. There's no middle ground for this, from what I've I've looked into. So either you're diabetic on the verge of it, or you have such a great control over it because you know how to manage your blood sugar. And I'm telling you right now, I'm probably on the verge of diabetic, a diabetes. Uh, I'm not. I'm not pre. I've been tested numerous times. I'm not pre-diabetic, so I just have really good control, according to the doctors. Now I wasn't coming here to get a science a science response. 
my whole thing was to get you to understand why is the shit that you don't like no compared no, to something I, I don't like I don't that care was, shit about that science. Was, listen, listen, listen. Fuck your brain listen, right now. Listen, fuck your thoughts, listen, Linda. Fuck your reading, listen, fuck Linda. Your therapy, Linda, fuck all the Linda, <laughs> Linda. Listen, you Linda. Like why you don't like it? Listen, Linda. No, I don't need your fucking scientific. We fact have we have this. people listening. I want to go there first, where we don't sound like you should know podcasts with this dumbass fucker who is like fish aren't animals. Pancakes are not warm weather. For the fuck. Anyways. Not to bag on, but that dude's just stupid. It really bugs the shit out of me when he comes across my feed. Uh, but anyways, I, I've had this conversation before because, especially like my wife, and I'd be like, oh yeah, Roggle tried, or was drinking XYZ on the podcast on Thursday nights when we play video games. And if he likes it, I won't, I won't even dare drink it. Because I know <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's typically a seltzer. <laughs> Which it's, means, it's like shit try it exactly <laughs> whereas like if i say hey go go try Smirnoff's uh drinks you're not going to like them i can tell you right now you won't like them because they're hot they're uh very sugary sweet mm-hmm. even though they claim to have no sugar you can taste the sweetness you can taste the the aspartame the artificial sugar and you're like oh yeah it's there cool whatever i enjoy that type of stuff now I will drink my my sweetness. I will drink my sugars before I eat them, which is what you know sodas is what you'll typically see me drink. Which is funny because mm-hmm. if you actually monitor me all day, I'll still get like sixty four, seventy two, eighty ounces of water in compared to my wife who will get maybe four ounces of water and the rest is soda or coffee. Um, so I'm still hydrated. Cause I know how to balance stuff out. But I was talking to the wife about it where I was like, yeah, if, she, if he likes this, I won't drink it. If he says, you know, he really likes this candy or he doesn't like this candy. I instantly go, let me go get the candy. Let me go get the drink because it's, it's the other side of the coin. So to speak, uh, with the exception of like sunny D that hard seltzer, I was like, it's, vodka it was good it wasn't great don't get me wrong but it was good and if it came in a six pack not a four pack and it wasn't you know 10 bucks for a four pack i would have had it more often so i thought they tasted similar to sunny d i think you said you didn't think it tasted it or they didn't, vice they, versa no they didn't they didn't taste like sunny d okay so it I tasted, thought they did. yeah but i also I drink some D. I love some D. No surprise there. Mm-hmm. At all. If a child loves it, I'd probably like it. But anyways, I when I got that, I already had some D in the fridge because it was on sale. And I was like, oh, perfect. This is actually one beverage in the house that the kids don't drink. Weird. My kids don't like Sunny D. So here's my wife and I drinking Sunny D. <laughs> but I remember going, I'm going to taste these side by side. And I was like, oh, Sunny D, super sweet, super artificial, super fake. Went and drank. Super tastes amazing. Oh, it's fucking amazing. I love Sunny D. <laughs> I drank the hard seltzer Sunny D. I was like, or the hard Sunny D. I was like, no. It tastes like a diet version. But that's also how, like, the monsters take, the hard monsters take, how the hard Mountain Dews taste. Uh, they all taste like a diet soda or a diet zero sugar ultras i think is what the monsters are called the ultra versions which have no sugar in them it it tastes like that so if that is your cup of tea so to speak if you like the low sugar flavor of sodas you like the low sugar of monsters go get those they are amazing will i still buy them yes because they're still good but if i have my choice between that or my schmiernos or my mics I will stick with my mics and Smirnoffs before then because it's it tastes more legit, I guess would be the best way. So there's nothing to compare it to. I'm not going to find a blue raspberry Smirnoff that doesn't taste like a blue raspberry Smirnoff. Like, it's the same flavor yeah. profiles. I think out of all those ones, the Sunny D was the one that I liked. Um, and if you're listening, Tang, you need to make one. Dude, if, if, Tang, ma- if Tang made one, oh my God. 
talk about 90s nostalgia like fucking everybody 80s 90s babies would all just go on and be like i don't know if it tastes like shit or it's amazing we all just buy it for the nostalgic purpose and i still buy it and i'll drink it occasionally like, i think i have a uh, container of it still my kids won't drink it i have not found tang in I my it city it's gotta be there somewhere i would think military it's gotta be around somewhere probably on post i don't drive to post it's also it's a it's a low budget drink it's gotta be around there somewhere it's gotta be kool-aid's not even low budget anymore that's true ramen noodles is not low budget anymore that is that is very true and i had it's very hard to believe how crazy ramen noodles have gotten just over the time how they've blown up for obviously the spiciness of everything because that's the thing now let's get as spicy as we can it's the hot chip challenge i'm i'm here for it too because i'm the dumbass of like ghost pepper ramen that (laughs) And I go home, have like three, three forkfuls or whatever. I was like, this isn't that spicy. Forkful number five and six. I'm like, <coughs> it's so spicy. I can not cry. It's so good. I did notice that I can do the, I think it's called Baldac, which is supposed to be just like the black uh, package. One of those is fine. Two of those together, I couldn't do it. Two packages together, no, no. I had, like you were saying, two or three bites. And I was like, I could have done it, but I would have paid for it later. And after the uh, one chip challenge about killing me in the middle of my sleep, when I, or middle of the night when I couldn't sleep, the worst stomach pain I ever had in my life. Pretty sure my stomach exploded. And I just shit everything out that I had in the first grade. That That's was not a great was. night. I did. I did no. not survive at all. I bitched out so quick on that one because I was like, "Oh my god, this is unbelievably hot!" And like, <laughs> I stupid. I was a stupid. I was a stupid moron. I had to choose my word really carefully. <laughs> <laughs> I was a moron who, like, when I was streaming hardcore, you know, four or five days a week, channel points, all that, I was a, again, I had to catch myself there. God damn. I was a moron who's like, I'm going to have the world's hottest cheese balls as a, as a redemption point. I'm going to have malic acid as a redemption point. I'm going to have. I think it was called street. Wicked Wicked Bl- or Wicked Chocolate. So it was either spicy or hot chocolate. Um, yeah. It was the world's hottest chocolate at the time, too. I was this moron that did that type of stuff. But at the same time, I didn't have like a hydrate me. So I was there for the pain and the, the punishment of it. But I also didn't think they were that hot. Now, with that said, the cheese balls took me a while to get through. I think it took me like a year. And those fuckers were stale. <laughs> like styrofoam peanuts stale. Just ugh. And they got hotter as they just sat there in their own cheese filth. It was just terrible. Was the bottom full of like oil and stuff like that? No. Oh, no. so I just absorbed everything. Okay. Yeah. You still have the gummy bear, don't you? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I also... Speaking of the malic, I also still have the malic acid too. So, oh, yeah. fuck that. If I decide to really hate my life, you can't. I can't even say like fuck that because like, um, I think it was my my daughter, but like my wife or my kids, they had a canker store or my wife had something, not an ulcer. Uh, she had something inside her mouth where they're like really the only way to get rid of it is to salivate so you need to produce saliva and the quickest way to produce saliva is with malic acid something gummy or super super sour so as she's out there buying like warhead she's out there buying sour patch kids sour gummies and they're not working she's not producing spit or saliva as quickly as like literally just grab the a, a kid spoon if you have kids you know it's a tiny tiny little thing maybe like a quarter teaspoon at most and i gave her a spoonful of that i said here you go try this and she get she <laughs> ate it made the worst face she's fucking terrible but at the same time within like seconds just producing so much saliva and she had to keep doing that because she had it was gonna uh oh it was a block a block duct inside of her mouth block gland duct okay. inside of her mouth and you need 
you just have to kind of like either squeeze it like a zit, but if it's way back there, you can't. So, yeah, she just did that. And so I was like, oh, that's a useful tool. If the kids have canker sores, literally, we found out a little bit of malic acid produces all that saliva and just kind of uh, pushes everything out. So, it has right. useful purposes. Um, then you have my dumbass who's like, I have Skittles. Eh. <laughs> I have sour Skittles now. <laughs> and I will, I have, I have. I have shot glasses, so I'm not dipping into the whole bucket. I will pour a little bit. I literally will, kind of like a fun dip. I'll lick it, put it inside the cup, spin it around, put it back in my mouth. Oh, it's so good. Well, there you go. Yeah, so good. Love it. Oh, my gosh. I do love it, though, because I, really, I love sour things, which is like the um, umabashi plum, which I still can't find uh, anywhere. I don't know if it's a thing anymore. But it was the world sourest item you could get at the time. And now they have the world sourest challenge, kind of like the one hot chip challenge. And it has activators for your water. I was like, yes. I'm going to make Roggle do this on an episode. We're going to do a live episode. We're going to do the world's hottest gummy, bo- gummy bear and the world's sourest. We're just going to be paying for this two hours. <laughs> oh, I was talking about dying with the one chip challenge. <laughs> Off that blue one. That fucking thing. I keep That'll looking because I still, I still have it too. Yeah, I do too. Mine's right here. Hold on. Yeah, right here. And my two. And I've got these. Alright, listen. One was enough. Still chips in them. Still chips in them. Discontinued. Those are the 2021s. Those are going to sit there for a while. Oh, stomach hurts just thinking about it. Hmm? Whatever. Oh. But that's the thing, like, like those, the world sourest <laughs> gummy or whatever it is, I personally think I could do that with no problem. Because I, I, can, I enjoy sour gummies. I enjoy sour candy. Mm-hmm. And... I'm going to make you do it. I'm going to just buy them, send you one, and then you won't have a choice. I'll be like, hey, open the fucker up. Let's go. Let's do this. Only an asshole would buy and send stuff to somebody. I know, right? Who does that shit? This asshole. <laughs> and Amazon. Who ever sent me that blueberry <laughs> beer shit? I still have I, it. I didn't send that. was still weird. I didn't, I didn't send that. <laughs> I still have it, by so the way. So <laughs> fucked up and sent you that. I don't know what it was. I don't, I don't know what to do with it, but I have it. Still, yeah, hot minute. Maybe I'll make wine with it or moonshine. Blueberry uh, vodka. No, that does not taste Blueberry good. Vodka. Blueberry anything does not taste good. Blueberry muffins mm-hmm. taste fucking delicious. Muffins, yeah. If you're talking about okay, yeah, that was yes. Blueberry like pastries wise, I don't like, are amazing. I don't like blueberry drinks. Uh, there is a there's a blueberry something shot. That was really good. It was probably a blueberry muffin shot, but it is a blueberry shot that I really like that the shops or shot stop used to do here in Manhattan. And I haven't been down there in about eight years, nine years, because I have kids now and I don't do the bar life. No, fuck that. No, thank you. No need for bar life for me anymore. But I will say, I do think it's funny the amount of people who, like for me, I don't like ketchup. Don't like it at all. I'm also not a big fan of tomatoes, or I used to not be a big fan of tomatoes. Can't say I'm not a fan of them anymore. But like tomato paste, tomato sauces and everything is not my go-to anymore. Um, don't touch ketchup at all, unless I'm making a barbecue sauce. And again, that's just kind of like putting the barbecue sauce. Um, but like not a big fan of spaghetti because it's a red sauce and I don't like cooked tomatoes. So what do you use for chili though? I still do it, but it's really heavy on like the Worcestershire or uh my meat character. I don't use a lot of tomato products okay. I don't have to. I use like bone broth bone broth that I make or veggie broth. I will have it there, but it's like here's a hint. A tomato product. 
here's everything else covered up but it's not to the point where i avoid it like you like ketchup i avoid i, I won't put ketchup on my hot dogs on my brats on my burgers i don't like ketchup ketchup does not go on a hot dog which anybody wants to argue in this house ketchup don't go on hot, does not go on a fucking hot dog i think you and i are on that island alone because my entire house you go to a lot of hot dog stands that don't sell ketchup or serve ketchup a lot of them do not. They will have packets that they will toss on the street. They'll make you go pick up, but they will not have like pump or squeeze ketchup. I could prove you wrong. <laughs> we just got three That's hot dog stuff. stands here in Manhattan, and they all do. Hot, they all come with ketchup and mustard. You get to tell them not to. I was like, the East. This is disgusting. The East Coast. The East Coast a lot of these coasts do not have ketchup. A lot of places won't serve it. Good, it's disgusting. Yes. Yes. Just like I don't think it goes on hamburgers. No, not a fan either. either. I saw ketchup. I will tell we'll have ketchup will be with fries. And that's probably nope. Probably the only thing I'll have with is, is fries. Nope. My fries I are mustard, but my fries are naked. Or fry sauce if I'm at Freddy's. But they're naked. I don't like ketchup. Like you won't catch me using ketchup. And it's to, the, it's to the degree even where, like, you know, as an adult, if my kids don't eat something, I'm like, oh, let me finish that for you. <laughs> no, I don't eat half my kids' shit because they put ketchup for their chicken nuggets, ketchup for their fries, ketchup for their mac and cheese, ketchup for, oh, what else was there? They put ketchup on a lot. Yeah, yeah. Look, look, it's a white thing. Don't get me started. Say a white thing or a wife thing? Both. <laughs> okay. It's like, well, hold on. Both. No. But no, wife. Not a white thing. I don't, I don't put that shit on there. Wife. I said wife with an F. But I do know a lot of my friends who, like, I grew up with, and they definitely put ketchup on mac and cheese. I'm like, that's disgusting. Especially, that's like, weird. to make it a little bit worse, I had a best friend growing up. He, him and his brother used to make tuna mac and by that i just mean mac and cheese with a can of tuna and they would put ketchup on that i was like Ugh. Ugh, no ah. <laughs> but like i don't think ketchup goes with fish let alone canned fish <laughs> when i was younger i think i put ketchup on fish sticks and then i realized that that's dumb and nope. I, just, I would use mustard no nope. but kids my kids I, do fish sticks and ketchup that's fucking Ah, tuna and with, with the tuna only exception, with the only exception of like my son, it, he he really likes cottage cheese, and mm -hmm. he will. I don't like cottage cheese; it's a texture thing for me. But uh, my son will take his chicken nuggets or his fish sticks, and the cottage cheese is dip. And I've he, seen a lot of people do that. Hold on, we're not done. He will dip his chicken nuggets in the cottage cheese. Dip it in the ketchup and then eat it. I want to have your son tested. <laughs> We've been saying that lately too. It's like, <laughs> I mean, I've that been is, tested. Uh, and, yeah, I mean that's he's young too. So I mean that's that's kind of common at that age as well. He had, I mean, he's what sixteen. See, so yeah, I mean that's that's normal. It's about. <laughs> God, that'd be so fucking old. <laughs> I, I was like, I was my my daughter asked the other like a week or two ago about like the weird, basically question based around weird food combos, where she was asking about like somebody at her school for lunch had an Oreo and they put peanut butter on it, and my wife's like, yeah, that. It's chocolate and peanut butter. It tastes really good. I was like, oh, yeah, I do that. I didn't think that was weird. I thought that was just like, I know a bunch of people that do that. I don't know anybody who would be adverse to chocolate and peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Uh, with the exception, I will say, I don't like Reese's Cups. Because it's the ratio. It's, it's, it's the imbalance. But anyways, so she asked if there was anything like weird that we used to do growing up. It's like, oh, yeah, I was super fucking weird. I thought it was. I would take PB and J and I would dip it in ranch. You don't like what ranch though. So. Yeah. No, no, who the fuck does that? 
psychopath. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Fucking. But what? as a child, that was mine. And then I don't remember what my wife said, but then I remember telling telling my daughter, I was like, oh yeah, your aunt used to do some crazy stuff too. Like she would do Oreos and ranch and she would do Oreos and uh, basically Oreos went with a lot of things for her. I want to say like ketchup and mayo at one point. Uh, but all that stuff just me. I'm still not a big fan of Oreos, by the way. Like I, I'm not a big fan of them. I wonder why. Uh, watch your grow up, watch your sister eat them like that. I fucking hate no, Oreos. No, 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 no. She <laughs> never ate them around us. This was always at like school. One of her friends would have them and they, they would eat them. Um, we didn't have Oreos growing up. We had off-brand, and they were not the same. Off-brand Oreos are not the same as Oreos. No, I get it. Um, but. I was like, oh yeah, your your uncle, your youngest uncle, my youngest brother, he used to do, and now my son's doing this, and it pisses me off, hot dogs with mayo. You don't like oh, mayo no, to I begin like... with. You don't you don't like mayo. I get that. Oh. But I was like, I don't like that. I like mayo. I was like, no. Disgusting. And we went to Sam's Club last time and stopped by, you know, six dollars. We got three meals, drinks, entree, all that, from Sam's Club, and my son's like, I need mayo. So my wife went and got mayo and put mayo on his hot dog and cut it up for him. And he's dipping his mayo-covered hot dog in mayo. And then he decides he's not full, or he, he doesn't want it anymore, so he's full. He's like, here you go, Dad. Like, no. That's foul. <laughs> I will do mayo for, like, for, like, Sandwiches, burgers. Yeah. And one, that two exceptions. Pasta, or pasta salad, make. mashed or potato salad. That's all. I put it on tuna. If I'm going to make like just tuna fish sandwich, I put a little bit of mayonnaise there. And then also oh, salad the sandwich, yeah. McDonald's McChickens. That's about the only time, but there's some asshole in there who likes to. I don't know, has Tourette's or like seizures or whatever, and just goes like this with all the fucking mayonnaise on it, and there's globs of it. So I open it, pick it up, and it fucking drips. I'm like, whoa, no, I don't want it like that. Son of a bitch. So I have to wipe it off, and I have to like dissect the entire sandwich and figure out the right ratio, and because that's the only time I can handle it. As someone who has the exact opposite issue at McDonald's here, our guy's like, uh, Little dollop of mayo. I'm like fucking Christ. So I always order like extra mayo because it's 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 literally like the size of a dime. I'm like, there's not enough. And anyways, that's normally how I order it. And this last time I did it again, it's probably been like a month because I only eat McDonald's hardly ever. But I was like, oh, kids want a happy meal. I just wanted a McChicken and uh, basically the McChick the McGangbang. Two hamburger patties and a McChicken. Uh, but anyways, I got the chicken and I said extra mayo. Again, historically speaking, it's always been a dime. And then when I do extra, it's like <laughs> a quarter. So I was like, okay. I don't know if this dude was just having a bad day. Or if he transferred from Iowa. But this dude fucking like my, my, my chicken sandwich. Not just like the the layer, no, 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 the wrapper, the ra you could see the mayo when it was oh, folded. Oh, I was just like, "That's oh man, that's too much mayo." No, like, co common sense would say, "Hey, you want extra? Okay, I'm not gonna make it to where it's like exploding out when I wrap it. Like, I'll put some in there so it's a little bit more than what is normal. But like, I'm gonna make it look no, like crap mayo just gets all problem. over this." Yeah, I'm gonna give you a mayo bomb as soon as it opens up, it's gonna go everywhere. Like, no. That's just like yeah, This was one of those instances though. I was like I was like, yeah, I don't wanna do this. Went back inside, I was like, hey, uh, so this is the chicken I got. <laughs> it's like handed to him, I was like, I asked for extra mayo and the lady picks up and she goes, Yeah. Uh <laughs> Did like, you order through the app? Asshole. I go, yeah, I did. She goes, okay. Uh, I'll make you a new one. Yeah, that's, that's, that's too much mayo. 
<laughs> you think? Yeah, okay. So she goes back and she's prepping another one, but she left a sandwich there. I was like, I wonder how bad this is. It's not like flavor. I'm not going to taste it because I don't want to get my hands in messy. So I open it and it, it, you. <laughs> so mayo. But literally, yes. two corners were the only thing that didn't have mayo on it, and you could just hear it peeling off. I was like, Ugh. Oh my god! In there somewhere. So I had it fully open, and she came back. She's like, "All right, here you go. Here's your, here's your McChicken. Um, if you want to make sure that's enough mayo, I can always get more. Open that up. As I'm opening, she goes, "That's a lot of damn cat. A lot of damn mayo. Oh my god." And I was like, "Yep." And I looked at it. I was like, oh, "Yeah, that's perfect." So I wrapped it back up in. And she, I'm still walking away. She's just staring at that. I was like, I wonder if she's like, what the fuck do we do with this? <laughs> So fucking much. If you throw it against the wall and see if it sticks. And oh, it would stick. Slide down. It would not be sliding down. It would dry and become adhesive at that point. <laughs> oh, it was so fucking much. And you know, I'm the same with like, if like in McDonald's, if I do like a Big Mac, I don't like pickles. I will say no pickles, extra Big Mac sauce. Because again, it's like, here's a dollop of Big Mac sauce. Oh my gosh, there's always so much sauce on that, those things. See, is that whoever's fucking running McDonald's, we're having two totally polar opposites here because I get barely any sauce or any mayo on my shit. You get everything. Too much. So I I always like extra. And normally I was like, yeah, perfect amount. I want a little bit like running off. And I didn't notice it this one time. I picked up the Big Mac. I looked, I was like, yeah, there's a lot there's a lot of Big Mac sauce on it. You can see it's like coming out a little bit. Perfect. This was back when I had like my my beard, my long beard, and I just bit into it, and I could hear. I was like, okay, but I never heard this flat sound. So I was like, yes. So I just kept eating, and I just like clean up my face, and my daughter's like, Dad, you got something right here. So like I'm wiping just my chin, and she's now lower. I was like, all right, well there's one napkin. So I start like touching my beard around with my hand and I got to about the middle, about <laughs> three, four inches away from my chin. I was like and I rubbed it too. I just wasn't just like a touch. I grabbed it, I was like Ugh. I need I need to go wash my beard now. <laughs> I was like, Great. It was a good big back, don't get me wrong. That's my go to sandwich there, but <laughs> that's a lot of big mess sauce. A lot. They've got the they've got the double now, the double Big Mac. Four yeah. patties. See, I haven't been at McDonald's in like two Which months. I mean it's it's a lot. Four when I was in Germany, already. they had it they have that in Germany normally. Then they get it here, I'm like, Oh, I've already had it. I had it in Germany. I had it before the US even had it. I felt all special. Well that's good because it tastes drastically different. It does not taste different at all. It tastes I don't think so it tastes different. any different at all. You you are such a plebe in the finesse of European. I think it tastes. I think it tastes. Yeah. They get their beef from different Germany, sources. Germany, Germany food is not that good. It is extremely bland. It's Wait, not I went good. to a I lot. Was, of I wasn't shops impressed. <laughs> I wasn't impressed. But like, hold on. I went, I went to a lot of Indian shops there. So I went to. And then, okay, yes, that I will say. Indian food I had there. I hate Indian food. I think we talked about it before. I will never eat Indian food again because. I had it over there. It was amazing. I will never have it here because of many other reasons. So. Fucking white people are running it. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's just the, the amount of curry that is used. Walking in, you smell curry. You walk out smelling like curry and everything else. Is, I can't stand the curry smells like that, but this restaurant I went to was amazing. Food was great. So, yes, the sausages in Germany, awesome. Again, come with mustard, ketchup. Um... But yes, a lot of the food was bland. Where did you go where the sausages came with ketchup? Because I did not get ketchup anywhere no, I, no, in Germany. No, no, no ketchup. They came with mustard, not ketchup. Okay. I heard they came I with mustard ketchup and ketchup. I was like, hold on. Where the oh, fuck? Oh, mustard not, and what, not ketchup. What Americanized yeah, village no. were you at that they're like, here's ketchup, stupid Americans? No. France, absolutely. Oh, yes. Yeah, so that's, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I was right. I told you. I I'll find you. that out in a month or so. Good luck. It's not great. That one. So, we will see. There was, there was, I mean, other than like this, because for you, it's definitely, for you and I, not you. For you and I, it's, it's very polar opposites on 
what I would say is like finite items, like sour sweet candy or sour sweet stuff is more my realm. Whereas you, you're like it from outside perspective, especially telling like my wife, when I tell her about these types of conversations, everything, it always starts off with, Oh, he must be eating really healthy or he must care about what he's eating. I was like, no, he's fat too. We're both fat. It's fine. It's fine. It's just, he doesn't like sour or sweet stuff. Like I do. He like, like a sprinkle of sugar. I want like a whole goddamn pound of sugar in my, like, I'm not trying to live to a hundred. Now sour, sour stuff. I will. I love sour candy right at that. Sweet stuff. I'm not big on. I mean, uh, sour, sour, like the, like you're making a face. Okay. You're like, Ooh, another handful. I haven't had, <sighs> I haven't had anything in a long time. That's been, that's been sour. Oh. I haven't had anything. I'm going to have to make a care package for you then. Okay. <laughs> be like open on camera. Yeah, cause anything sour that I, <laughs> that I see, I'll get it. Like, I just found the, the nice sour, like these. Those things aren't are good, sour. But, not sour. but I know what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's, it's yeah. sour, so I got it. Anything I see sour, I get it, and I try it, but I've never had anything I, in a long time. I haven't had anything sour that's, like, been sour. So We'll fix that. I know there's stuff out there, I just haven't found it yet. We'll fix that with the world's sourest gummies or whatever it's called. Oh yeah, I guarantee those will those will work. I'm just gonna be like, "Well, oh, this is so good." Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're gonna be like, oh, God. <laughs> "All right, put the second one in." No, no, it's, come on, it's so good. <laughs> Activator, where's my water? <laughs> like, and this was easy for me. I mean, I'll probably shit my brains out afterwards because it's sour candy has a side effect. Oh yeah, I don't, have that, I don't have that problem. Eat enough of it. I have been. I've, I've, no, I've no. done a lot. You're not. I think it's your fault. The candy thing was not a problem until. Listen, listen. You, you cannot. No, started, listen. You stupid yeah, yes, bitch. I'm you cannot. You cannot. You, you dirty, get, dirty. Get Gina on here. I blame you for all the candy that I have ingested over the last three seasons. We just started in two years. Season. Chill out. It's three seasons. We started three seasons. I know my candy uptake has fucking went through the roof because of you. <laughs> Which is so funny because, like, my candy intake has gone down. <laughs> it's fucking weird. Over two years, like, like, yeah, sure, I still have, like, I have candy, but I've had this candy for, like, three weeks, and normally that's not my routine. I, I have candy, I'm done with candy. But it's also holiday season just ended, so still going through all their shit but like i had i went and got like the nerds gummy clusters and i got Good. the hard shelled nerds too i like the hard shells nerds i found out more than the gummy clusters but normally that will last me a few days i just opened this up on friday keep in mind i was gone saturday and most of sunday or half of sunday and it's now Tuesday. My wife was in here doing some work. And my son came in here multiple times going, can I have some candy? That's that's okay. Dad did not say shit. Dad does not share his candy <laughs> because of this reason. So he, she gives him like five or six gummy clusters. He comes back in another five or six gummy clusters. At this point, by the time he tells me how many he's had, He's already had like five, six handfuls. And I'm like, hey, stop giving the kids my candy. This is literally safe for Tuesdays and Thursdays. I save my candy for Tuesday nights and Thursday nights when we do the podcast episodes and when we game. That is my candy night. You have more than enough. There's three. <laughs> I have like to go to the store. Run. Yep. <laughs> I knew it. Gotta go to the store. I normally go to Dollar Tree though because I I feel a lot better about myself. I'm like I spent ten dollars and I get small ten bags. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Mental thing doesn't matter how small or big it is. I'm like yeah, I got ten. Next day I was like I ate ten. God damn. <laughs> what the problem? But I did buy me a chocolate bar. I think really it's not candy. Candy is not my biggest problem. It's fucking chips. Chips are my biggest problem. I will eat chips all day, every day. 
and the spicier the better but like really really the I spicier the better no. how's the pack out chips going minus <laughs> minus that fucking devil's taint chip that's not the one i'm talking about those pocky chips are disgusting also i tried those oh They're yeah the most no, flavorless stale fucking chips Stale's no. an understatement i, mean, I am a huge jalapeno kettle kettle oh, chip those are good like i love those ones um guys which i cannot get unless i go back to missouri to get them in the kansas city area guys potato chips are my favorite potato chips but i cannot fucking get them up here so i have to go down and get them um their barbecue ones are amazing they're overly f- fucking seasoned See, salted and everything see, else but they're- again i'm not a big fan of barbecue chips on any platform on any brand i not a fan of them at all i think they all taste super fake which is the point of a potato chip but they like, taste fake fake smoke fake flavoring is just too much for oh, me yeah. with the exception of lay's sodium or salt-free potato uh barbecue chips it's the blue bag it's their healthy versions but salt-free or 50 percent salt-free salt. barbecue chip yeah those are different because you don't those like uh let me see if i can find you the i can't open up a link because it's all gonna be on this main screen go really bright i'm sure i'm sure i'll be able to find it just i haven't i don't think i've ever seen it but um ruffles i used to love ruffles i can't stand them anymore all the flavors that they have I are not ruffles. disgusting i've never been a fan time, of ruffles i don't know why i liked ruffles if i was doing dip like it's how i mean there are they are a sturdy ship the ridges are there they're very sturdy okay dipping. okay hold on ridges or waves and then justify why <laughs> waves if i'm just eating uh ridges if i'm dipping because they're they're a more durable chip waves are fucking brittle like lays just normal lays they're hard to use dips if you use like a french onion dip something like that it's tough who's the fucking so 80 year old man problems. now but anyway, you heard you me. I said what I said. French onion dip. French onion dip. French onion amazing. dip's disgusting. That's fucking amazing. <laughs> it's disgusting. So good. That's like the Werther's candy of dips. Oh, but disgusting. Your damn, your damn geriatric <laughs> ass up. I don't want to hear anything. <laughs> you, you do not compare your Werther's original strategy. I get Chewies, okay? Anything. Dentures can't you, hold up to Chewies. your teeth. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> No, let me hear your bullshit. Speak no. your bullshit on this one. No, here's the thing, okay? Because I, yes. I literally, it was just like in the last week or two, because they were on sale at Hy-Vee. I literally bought Wavy's chips and Ridge chips. Neither one okay. of them, uh, Ruffles, Lace, Lace, okay. Lace, because I don't do Ruffles. I don't like Ruffles. I think their potato steak's bad. But anyways, I test it out because I always, that's kind of the conception of it is if you want a dippable chip you get ridges if you want just a flavorful chip you get wavy mm-hmm. bullshit tastes the same but anyways no they don't lies listen for me listen fucking lies you had the palate of a five-year-old oh you whoa pot meat kettle oh back to bullshit trade up the kettle's bigger no 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 <laughs> no, no. No. Yes. No. I stand by what I say. I cannot say no enough. How's that Mexican donut? No. Are you trying to get me stabbed? I'll say that out loud. Look, I almost said that Saturday. Just to go up to Tony and be like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> What's this Mexican donut I keep hearing about from Roggle? Just to see if I can stir the pot. But anyways, one. I, I would have ate it very gladly. Like, I'm like, that's so good. <laughs> I wouldn't have called it a Mexican donut. Though. I would just shut my mouth and ate it. But I tested. I tasted like the flavor just salted. I don't really. I'm not big into the flavors with the exception of a few. Just uh, a normal yellow bag. Yeah. So. Okay. Well. Lace. Red. Yeah. Red and yellow. Because. The red. Yeah. The ridges is red. Yeah. But anyways, put them in a dip. Both fucking snapped off. And by the way, this is just like a basic uh, bacon and cheddar dip. Nothing fancy. It's not a very thick dip. Both break off. So I do another one. Both break off again. Five out of five chips, they all break off. Neither one will hold up. 
looked at the thickness the ridge is barely thicker and by barely i mean like i had to hold the fuckers up to my eyes and go yeah barely big thicker they're saying fucking chips it's a marketing tactic of we're gonna name it two different things and get these dumb fucks to think they're two different chips they taste different they don't taste the same they taste the same no they don't they taste the same now yellow bag lays is a big thing here um because they will take a bowl of chips snowball and they will take hot sauce like valentina put on top of it and this to me when i first started dating her was very odd to me because i've never seen anybody just put hot sauce or something like that on chips now a soggy chip is fucking disgusting back to the texture thing a soggy chip tastes so much worse i can't stand it so they will have this bowl of chips and they will sit there but that's because the expectation of a chip is a a chip is to be crunchy yes exactly i want soggy chips i have mashed potatoes exactly so you do not have this these chips to marinate in this hot sauce and they would eat said chips and this drives me nuts no no i can't do it i like i like the taste of them but i will if they get start to get soggy i will hurry up and finally finish it so there's still some crunch once they're soggy i'm done i'm no. done with that this is the same way i am with ice cream i don't eat ice cream that often when i do eat ice cream i eat it very fast not enough to give me a brain freeze because i cannot stand when it melts all right i will not sit there and scoop it up so hold and, up and hold up that i may piss you off with this one no yeah don't you're good at it so go ahead listen i'm not nearly as good as you should know podcast so chill out there okay <laughs> We're very, very like calm compared to the, but anyways, depending upon the ice cream flavor, I will say this. Uh, I started when I was, I was like a child and I still like it now. Where specifically like the chocolate and vanilla combo one, you just skip down the middle. I will let that shit not melt, but it gets softer. Or if it's already soft served, I will sit there with my spoon and whisk. To blend it together and it's a little bit it's a lot softer to the point like you could almost drink it if you want to but i will sit there and i'll say yeah it's so good it's so good it's so good now melted ice cream. oh yeah i'll do melted ice cream all day but again that really depends on the the flavor because like there is a i i say that because there's a blue bunny mm-hmm. are they the one with the brown lid yeah blue bunny has a I think it's called cherry rific cheesecake. No real cherries inside of it, which is good because I don't like real cherries. Can't have them. But anyways, but it has cheesecake bits in it and cherry sauce and uh, the graham cracker crust in it. Really fucking good. Probably my favorite ice cream. I also like six dollars for a, a small little regular size jug. It's fucking annoying. Uh, so when they go on sale, I get as many as I can before they tell me to stop buying them. But anyways. That one is not good melted because there's hard bits through it. The graham cracker. The only time the melted or semi melted or kind of sort of somewhat semi melted is when it's literally just chocolate vanilla. Like it has to be those two flavor combos. And it's just because it tastes like a milkshake. You weird psychotic fuck. All this stems from when I was younger, my cousin would let it melt and sit there and sip it, like slurp it off her spoon. And yeah, that noise, I'll punch you out. I would, I would get so mad because I can't do it. I can't stand it. Like, melted ice cream now, I see my kids do it, I have to walk away. I'm not telling them to stop doing it, I just have to walk away. I'm like, I can't watch you do this. <laughs> That's an ice cream cone. <laughs> ice cream cone is running down their hand, and they're licking their hand. I'm like, God, oh, stop it. Don't, don't, it fucking, no, it messes no. with me. I can't do it. That's where we differ because their trauma is going to be my issues. <laughs> <laughs> like, the slurping the chewing with the mouth they're like stop we don't do that that's no stop it stop it you can go to therapy oh, no, in 18 years like stop that. it yeah, no. Yeah. Um, no slurping and mouthful like talking mouthful no that doesn't do that but if they're just eating said melted ice cream cool whatever just i, I don't want to fucking see it I don't know. it's ice cream soup uh, no it's not uh, <laughs> no I don't really know why it's so disgusting. It just, it just no. Mm-mm. 
Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Can't do it. No. What? <laughs> no. Uh, oh. No. Scrap this shit off. I have a puke on my keyboard. Alright. Well, I'm not gonna wrap it up, but anyways. We will see. But, um, what was the big... Because there's one big texture that's, uh... So do you have an aversion other than chips and fucking soft ice cream, clearly. But do you have an aversion to too crunchy or too soft outside of those, like what we've already talked about? Like if there's something I can't stand that's too crunchy? Yeah, like you... Like oh. there's, uh, is there a level of crunchiness you're like, this is too much? Well, like how you said earlier with your uh, those Red Baron pieces that you yeah. got, like it's almost like pretzel style. Yeah. If it's like a hard, crunchy pretzel, like almost like those um, pretzel pieces that you can get the bag. Um, Snyder's, I think it is. Oh, those are my it's like favorite. <laughs> it's like crumbled up pretzels. Like those are those are almost too crunchy. Um, the Gardetto's brown chips. What the fuck are those? The right the right chips. chips. Those are too crunchy. Those are, those are almost too crunchy. Like a little bit past that, I can't. I can't do it. Uh, too soft. It depends. Like if it's man, I don't know. The, the, I know there is something, but off the top of my head, I can't. I can't think what it is. If it's like a, I don't know. If it's something that too wet in the bite, like mushy. Like if too it's moist. mushy, I can't do it. Yeah, if it's too mushy like that, I can't. I can't do it. So like like a, like a sandwich. If you're, if I mean the sandwich and like the whatever's gotten the, the bread like soggy i have a hard time eating it not, not yeah. i won't even eat i'll just rip the i'll rip the bread off and just go from there I can't i'll throw it away like, i can't stand wet bread i'll throw it away yeah I'll if it's overly on. wet like if the bottom is is fine i'm good once the bottom gets wet and everything else i'm done i, I, I mean like, i obviously the inside of the bread's gonna get wet for whatever like, but sandwiches if i would take a sandwich for like a sack lunch or at work mm -hmm. whatever Never did it have any like condiments on it. There was no yeah. mustard. There was no mayo. It was that was all separate because it sits yeah. there for four to six hours or longer. It gets really moist and just disgusting. Mm -hmm. um, but like, I know I know my kids have some, and theirs are really weird, at least to me, because <laughs> um, they're just kids. But, like I have, it's still like mushy, but super soft, like. Vegetables are a big one for me where I will I will eat a vegetable, but there is literally it's a very, very finite uh, line to cross over. So by that, I mean, it's almost like with milk. If the milk expires February 1st and it's February 1st, I will not drink the milk. I will pour it all down the drain. I don't care. One, because for me, milk tastes or milk smells sour all the time for me. I cannot oh, tell okay. you if milk is bad by smell because it all just smells bad to me. So I don't drink a lot of milk. And if I have it with like cereal, I won't sniff the milk. I will just simply look at the expiration date. And I will watch for chunks. If I even think I saw a chunk, I throw the whole damn bowl <laughs> or cup out. Like that's it. And I that probably like childhood trauma there being unlocked. Mm. But uh, vegetables are one like if I'm having a salad, I personally weirdly enough i like salads and if the lettuce is not crisp i do mean crisp if it's even like probably not the proper word to use but if it's even slightly flaccid i'm like no this is a like bad green no 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 like green light. i mean soft like if this if this is not mm -hmm. crisp lettuce not even like the stem because i won't eat the stem of like a romaine leaf oh yeah but there is it has a almost crunch to it and you're like oh yeah this is fresh lettuce but there it goes bad fairly quick iceberg is kind of the best lettuce to think about for this because if iceberg goes soft it's going bad uh but same with like bell peppers i'll eat bell peppers i can eat them in like a fajita where they're intended to be cooked so like, okay no inversion there but if this bell pepper is not crunchy every time i bite into it I won't eat it because it to me it's it's bad. That's what it means to me. Um, but same with like uh, 
breads. I blame my mom for this one because she likes her stuff toasted. Charcoal. It's like if we ever had like burnt crust, my mom would eat it. And she would like, I love mm -hmm. this. I was like, that's disgusting. She's like, I love this. Burnt crust is my favorite. You're fucking weird. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, uh, but even like if my bread gets too dark, it's nasty. It's too crunchy. If my garlic bread gets too, too dark, it's nasty. I won't eat it. And my kids are starting to have similar almost aversions. And I only say almost because sometimes they're okay with it. Other times they're not because, you know, they're fucking kids. Uh, but there seems to be one specific one, like garlic bread. If it's if the bread itself, not the crust, has either cooled off too much to the point where now it's a little bit more chewy, then they won't eat it because they think it's too hard. It's not hard. It's just they took fucking hours to eat yeah. this goddamn thing. Just tougher to, tougher to bite. Yeah. Uh, especially with my daughter losing her teeth now. She's... No, I can't bang into it. <laughs> but I, I know there's definitely certain things where, like, I, I'm also that weird, that weird person. Like, my food cannot touch. And here's the thing. Well, I'm the one, one that the same will, place. Exactly. I'm the one that will make that same argument to anybody else. But at the same time, I will be with somebody, like, if somebody makes my plate outside of my wife, I, like, don't make my plate. No, it's fine. Make every don't fucking touch my plate. I mean, don't touch my plate. And it's to the point where like I get almost hostile about it. Where I was like, please don't make my plate. No, I'm a grown ass adult. I can make my own goddamn plate. Don't fucking make my plate. I don't care if it's a culture thing for you. Don't touch my fucking plate. And I will I will get to the point where it's just like I don't like people touching my food. Well you eat out. I don't have a choice there, okay? I'm paying somebody, I know I can sue them. And like I take defensive routes before I get to the point where I was like, I know you're going to use that same big ass spoon you use for your mashed potatoes. And I know you're going to touch something else with it. No, 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 we don't do that. That's, you don't crush it. This spoon is meant for mashed potatoes. It cannot touch said spoon for mac and cheese. Those two do okay, not. That's, that I can't do. I, can't, I won't do that either. The only thing my mashed potato spoon can touch is gravy. Because the gravy goes on the mashed potatoes. It's how it's meant to be eaten. Cool. I got it. Perfect. So if you see me make my kids play or my wife's play, I will make sure everything's like not touching to a degree. If it's like my wife, I definitely would be like, I'm going to make her plate last because I'll just throw everything on there. I'm like, there you go. There's a plate. And I just walk away. <laughs> it's like, it's touching. I don't like this. But there's even been times where like my wife will make my plate like when uh when I had the vasectomy and everything she was cooking those three days, one day to be specific, she she had she made my plate and everything and she's like here you go. I looked at it, I go, my salad is touching whatever else we eat. It's like I don't. Oh, you little kid. <laughs> and it's it's to the point where like. I have highly considered, I see all those funny like memes and gifs and everything where it's like the perfect holiday platter and it's the like the dip tray for veggies where the citrus hollowed out and you have like all the little sections. I'm like this is perfect for holidays. Everyone just gets one of these. You go to Dollar Tree, they're a dollar and everyone gets their own. They have enough room to put mashed potatoes, turkey, gravy, and it's just a poo poo platter. But it all has little sections and I have highly Highly considered getting that because like, I don't like my food fucking touching, and okay. it's to the degree of like if uh, if I'm doing it, like if it's a steak, say steak and potatoes. Normally, I get the proper plate size, meaning oh, it's a 16 ounce steak, so I'm taking eight. My wife's taking eight and we're having potatoes so i will serve myself just enough potatoes to be on a small plate corner so it doesn't touch and then if my juice is fucking problems <laughs> like, oh the problems told you i've been tested i know i'm on there it's okay i've come to terms with it in the last few years <laughs> but to the point now like if my wife is making my plate and if any of it's touching i was like are you mad at me what's going on she's like 
What it, hap mean? <laughs> it happens in transit. Like it happens when I was moving. I was like, uh huh, uh huh, sure. Um, but of course, it's kind of just to the point where, like, I won't say anything. I'll just slightly like, move everything over. I can see she's watching me. She's like, it wasn't touching. You're okay. Like, I know it's all going to the same place. But my brain doesn't know that clearly because my brain's making me do the stupid shit. Leave me alone. I, I think an asshole put it in a bowl, put a lid on it, shake it all up, and put it in front of you. Here, fucking eat now. So, You're good. I, so, oh, God, here we go with this one. No, no, no. <laughs> I want I want to explain this just like how fucking I really want to use that word how fucking stupid this is so we have a dish and I know not a lot of people know what it is which is to me is weird because I grew up with it dish called ranch chicken taco salad very white ass dish Doritos lettuce grilled chicken with taco seasoning ideally cheese ranch makes up Think salad with fucking Doritos. I'm okay with that. All right. Says a walking taco with chicken. Yes. Yes. Okay. Same thing. Uh, but ranch what instead of what, yeah. yeah yeah. Yeah. That's why yeah. I said it's more like a salad with Doritos. However, say I'm to have a chicken breast, a salad, and some chips. Let's just say Doritos for fun. <laughs> They don't touch. <laughs> Fucking weirdo. Oh <laughs> because my that's gosh. not that's not the goddamn dish intended. And I know this because I will sit there, like I'll make the kids play, I'll make the wives play, and then when I get to mine, I like I'll put the chicken breast on there, I'll put the the salad on there. I was like, this is really just fucking ranch chicken talks. Like, I sit there, like it's a it's a internal battle where I'm sitting there, and I was like, are you are you? Yeah, you gonna tell me? Hold on, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do here. <laughs> No, my wife was typically like, do you need help with anything? Anything else needs to come out? And it's just me staring at my plate going, nope. Where does it go? Where does it go? So, it I'll, keep it all, it I'll, I'll keep it all separate. But I will eat it all together. I'll stab a chicken breast I will, or a chicken slice, stab some lettuce, eat that. <laughs> <laughs> fucking weird. Fucking touch. I could, for, life of you, for life of me, I could not tell you why i'm not going to a psychiatrist because i don't have that type of money to delve into 30 years of issues therapy perfect all behind it psychiatrist not enough meds in the world to figure this shit out i'm not going to become a research paper it'd be a hell of a paper it'd be a hell of a, a series a book novel whatever you want to call it 600 page part one let's go over this what? But who doesn't touch? But here, I know I'm not the only one in my family, at least. I know I'm not the only one in the world because my sister's the same way, where she doesn't like food touching. I think I have a brother too. So like, sixty percent of us don't like our food touching. I'm just the only one that's very vocal about it. Again, our twelve year old used to be that way. He's not not anymore. Again, it's possibly because I'm on you know the. I broke love that one. I know I'm on the spectrum. Been tested. I got him to, uh, we know that. I got him to figure out, like, hey, it's all going in the same spot. So now everything is, it's not like he just puts it all on a pile. And it's in. Yeah. He still has his little sections, but at times he'll try and do it. And I was okay. I'm like, you don't, don't, don't start then. Don't start it. And now it's like, my... I don't let my kids do it. Like, <laughs> this is You're like the biggest, <laughs> this is the biggest hypocrisy ever. <laughs> Or it's like, all right, take the, just again, the chicken, the salad, and the, and the chips or whatever. I will sit there and I, again, I'll eat the chicken, and but they don't touch. Whereas my kids will be like, oh, my salad's touching my chicken. Responsibly. I mean, this is just how I naturally respond. It's okay for your chicken to touch your salad. You're going to eat the same damn thing. It's all going to the same fucking place. It's fine. Your chicken can touch your salad. But at the same time, I'm over here going, don't touch my fucking chicken. You say you <laughs> say your quadrant. Why does your, why does your plate have walls? Why does each one have a different set? Their plates, plates, plates have walls. Mine on. don't. Mine's a big plate and there's just a big ass gap between them. <laughs> so like, like, I know there's an issue, but at the same time, I don't let my kid do it. So like, it's fine. Because at one point, biscuit, biscuits and gravy, very Midwestern thing here. Um, 
there was a phase where my daughter didn't want the gravy to touch the biscuits. I'm like, it's the name of the fucking dish. Kind of has to. You pour the gravy over the biscuit and you eat it. Yeah. And she got me. And this was only like a year or two ago. She went from having it together to just randomly be like, I don't want them touching. And I was like, it's fine. That's how it's supposed to be eaten. It's supposed to be touched. You don't like your food touching. That's not the fucking point here. <laughs> <laughs> so you eat this and gravy together? Oh, yeah, because that's how it's meant to be. Okay. Okay. Do you have, will you put scrambled eggs with it? Do you oh, have a mild no. stroke? Are you okay? No, no, because like. <laughs> it, it, I know people will throw scrambled eggs over the biscuits too and then throw gravy on top of that as well. So. No, biscuits and gravy by itself is biscuits and sausage gravy. Yes. However, after going to a restaurant or whatever in Wichita, I forget what it's called, uh, they had a meal called the Dump Platter. And it had, I know, right, it's not a great name, uh, but it would have hash, uh, potato hash, it would have a biscuit, it had your sausage gravy, it had scrambled eggs, and it came with a side of toast in case, you know, the cars weren't enough. And all that stuff was mixed together with the exception of the toast. So your eggs were mix mixed with your sausage, was mixed with your biscuit, was mixed with your hash. And that was really good. So if, if we do the mm -hmm. dump platter, perfect. But I won't put scrambled eggs with my biscuits and gravy because it does not belong in a biscuits and gravy dish. No, that's fine. I, I figured you didn't. But I've seen people do it as well i've done it on occasions yep but it doesn't like, touch i will eat scrambled like, eggs yeah with it but it does not touch it does not get eaten at the same time it's a here's a scrambled egg bite wait for that to clear my mouth here's a biscuit <laughs> to clear. no i'll do them together you will douse them <laughs> of course you but yeah but that's all like and this, I think this is why I gave you so, or why I wanted to give you so much shit for just your verbiage. It's like, you're fucking stupid. <laughs> but it applies to me because I'm like, oh, texture and uh, flavor. Texture so much for me. Mm -hmm. Flavor, I don't care about. Like, it is it is what it is. I understand the science behind it. Of like, it's flavor profile. Some people say said wife really likes salty food. Really salty food. <laughs> Like, like Salt Lake type. Oh, oh yeah, wow. Uh, so if if I'm if she's cooking dinner, she has to know either not to add salt or to just like do a pinch of salt. Because early on, if she made dinner or made lunch or whatever, she made a meal, she would sprinkle how much salt she wanted on it, and it would be like just take scrambled eggs, salt, black pepper. That's all I really need. Mm -hmm. She would put so much for the point, like I take a bite, like I'm so thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> They're not that salty. She's eating a whole fucking plate. Like, How do you drink more water? <laughs> and it's like an iodine deficiency, which is really normal, but like that's why yeah. certain people like to have so much salt. So anytime we make meals, it's I make it the way the kids and I are gonna eat it, and then I'm like. Here's your little salt. Add however much you want, and she'll sprinkle it on there. Uh, she mostly will like sprinkle it before we take it out to the to the table because anytime the kids even see that stupid shaker, I need salt. You haven't fucking tried it. Mm -hmm. Take a bite. It needs salt, Dad. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, yeah. it fucking doesn't. We don't even bring it out. We don't have salt and pepper shaker until we bring it out. I season the food and that's it. Occasionally they'll try and get salt, but nope, I don't bring it out. Nope, because pepper's about the only thing I will. Because my wife likes salt, and if she forgets, she's like, oh, I'll just grab it, and that's fine. Whatever. I don't fight it. I don't care anymore. I was like, it is what it is. I'm gonna eat my meal. I'm gonna eat my food the way I like it. It's fine. I'm gonna keep everything not from touching. Oh, no, I, yeah, I've accepted that, too. Everything, for certain people here, that's, uh, everything has to have hot sauce of some kind for certain things that shouldn't have hot sauce. I could have noodles, but there's a lot of things that shouldn't have hot sauce, but, you know, whatever. 
If I yeah. found a good hot sauce I liked, I probably would be the same way. I'm mm -hmm. so fucking nitpicky about that stuff. And this summer, I'm going to try to make my own hot sauce, so figure that out. I'll do it. There there I got barbecue sauce down. Oh, it's going to happen when it's like, just going to come on podcast, but like, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I'm not crying. I've just been making hot sauce all day. Awesome. <laughs> you know, shit's in the air. You look like you've been crying. Yep, 12 hours. She hit you, didn't she? <laughs> Shh. It's only on Mondays. I'm still healing. <laughs> yeah, I, want, I, I just thought your phrasing was really funny, though. Like, I'm going to give him shit. No, I put it there so I can remember what I meant. The flavor aspect is the only one I didn't, like, I, I don't know. I, I didn't fully understand it. Mm -hmm. Since that's more of like a definitely a preference versus texture as a science. Oh thing. yeah. So. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. Stay tuned. Uh, there should be an episode following this. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know when this is going to release. Yeah. I did just cover Power World though in our previous episode, the video yeah. game. So if you haven't checked that one out. Go check it out. Uh, if you're looking for an easy to play game that doesn't fucking cost seventy dollars, it's thirty dollars. The fun game. Go check it out. It's very um, uh, very pre Thirteenth Amendment context is what a lot of people like to compare it to. Capture these pals, make them work for you. No costs. You can steal them from others. You can trade them for others. They do occasionally break free. You go capture them again. Yeah. That's a fun game, though. I'm not going to get into it, but it's a fun game. Go check out the episode prior to this one. Um, or two prior to this one. I don't know. I don't know if Rago got his football one done. So. What about it? I want to talk about how did that go? No. It so. won't be done. <laughs> no, it won't. Yes, it will. All right. But yeah. Come check us out every Thursday night as we play Call of Duty for now. Once Rog gets his PC up and running, he's going to play Power World with me. Or Skull and Bones. Because that comes out real soon. The beta, is, I'm able to play on PS5 February 5th, I believe. I think that's when the open beta starts. So I will check that out. We can try that on Thursdays as well. I will. I will get that one. When's when's February fifth? Is that Thursday? After after the fourth. No shit, you don't mess with the Monday. <laughs> so that's a fun game. So we will. I will have a game review for sure. An official game review. I already did one for the beta, talking about improvements from the original stress test I did. So the, That'll be an upcoming episode for sure. And Rago should have his one for the Super Bowl. I will have that. It will be done. It was done. almost done today. OBS decided to say, fuck you. And that happened. As I was done with it. So, yes. It's not OBS. In case you're wondering, he's saying OBS. Three letters. OBS. So be it. Yep. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yes. Check us out on Thursdays. Check out the two guys one gamepad. Back on for all the merch. I stream on Twitch. Six pours himself out on Twitch, Kick, YouTube, and Facebook. Try to stay it all all four quarters. Listen, okay. I do because if you guys read the description, you'll know this. I am backed by or sponsored affiliate, whatever you want to call it. By Shellshock CBD, I get a kickback. I have a promo code for shellshockcbd.com. And I'll have you know, since I've been whoring myself out, my paybacks or my kickbacks are fucking amazing. That's why you whore yourself out. That's not a bad thing. I'm just saying. That's what you do. Well, put some respect on that word. Okay. I'm a prestigious whore. A prestigious whore. All right, well, 
<laughs> Check out Sing this prestigious horniness on Twitch, Kick, YouTube, and Facebook. Shellshock CBD. Your promo code is SIG. CM SIG. Yeah. CM SIG. Go and buy some shit for him. Help him out. Have him buy that plate that he wants so he doesn't have to have his food touching. It's a dollar twenty-five. I'll just go to dollar two where I finally break down and want to do it. I just don't want to do it. I don't. I'm not bitching. I don't want to be made fun of on a daily basis by my wife. (laughs) Got many, many other things to do. You, you, I can just hang up on and be like, I'm not talking to you. (laughs) I said I do to her, so I'm stuck with her until she kills me. (laughs) Well, a few more weeks. Nah, I got at least 14 years Uh, until the youngest turns 18. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. So yes, check us out on Thursdays. Check out two guys on the hitbad.com. Rate and review the podcast. Let us know what you think. Want to come on the podcast? Let us know. We'll have anybody on. Till then, bye, bitch. <laughs>